Okay, so the context for all this is essentially um, me and my me and my uh, friends decided we would get together and just talk for a bit. It's been a while, and eventually we started talking about taboo topics, like stuff that is generally considered bad. If he does come and, back, um, more like a shush. Well, yeah, that's come how back? it is. Also, I was playing yeah. Hitman 2, a game where yeah. you shoot people he and be, oh, get XP yes, for back. it. Or yeah. He's a um, we shouldn't. It should be. He has been alligate. He has has been a pedophile, but we have yet to know if he still is, or yeah. if he will continue to be. You know, as much as I hate to compare it to something that was literally a joke, it's like the um. Parasynical. No, I mean parasynical. I don't think he's a kid toucher. I'm gonna uh, say it was confirmed because he was. It w he never had anything bad on him, I believe. I believe it was just a bit of misinformation. I believe that he... I believe that he was unaware of this person's age. Or, <laughs> if he was aware, he didn't think, like, it could be classed as that. Because, you know, it's not like he's specifically being sexual to them. It's just weird roleplay. Which, that happens all the time online. Like, weird roleplay happens all the time online. And... No one questions it, but the moment a famous person does, that's when it's a little annoying. Yeah. And that's obviously... The double where... standard of humanity. Yeah. And it's not just like gender or anything, it's just double standard in general. Because yeah, everything. Parson could be whatever gender he wanted. He is a famous person, and therefore he should be held accounted. He should be held accounted for everything he does. But so it's should like everyone standard. else. Everyone says, oh yeah, furries, go burn in hell. And then, like, not be worried about Pyrocynical when he's a furry. Yeah, but I think that there are certain furries that, when it come, when I say furries burn in hell, most of the time it's a you, joke. You say I don't care. furries, you don't say all furries, every single one. Yeah, you're saying just but furries. Because sad fact of life is the famous like of one specific thing will outweigh them like. If one famous person like does a bad thing and they are a part of Michael this culture, Jackson, the, then the rest of the culture will be remembers him as a pedophile. Yeah, no. What I was saying is like, because if one famous person who also happens to be a part of one group of people, it turns out to have done something bad, then people tend to think, oh, well, they let him stay like, uh, they let him stay famous. They didn't. Report, therefore, they must also be pedophiles. Let's rep let's see what they are doing in their spare time. Which hmm. sometimes it's just a case of, well, man, like, like uh, held accountable for what they've done. You should always be held accountable for what you've done, no matter what it is. But uh, it's just confusing, hmm. man. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know much about the subject of uh, grooming and all that stuff. And I don't want to, because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm ever accused, or have ever been in a situation where I'm the one who has to accuse someone. Because that obviously comes with other potentially bad implications. But, Franco you know, down. like if Tom Cruise was accused, like if, if everyone found out Tom Cruise just happened to like animals that are drawn in sexual fashion, and... Mm. Uh, people didn't like that. Like, let's say that was a crime to like fairy, to be a fairy, a sexual fairy mm. at least. Then people think, oh, the, every a every other actor who has agreed to work with Tom Cruise must also be a fairy and is also therefore a criminal, which doesn't even work that way. But I mean, sure, mm. I guess. It's like, and, and also just the total of like, oh, this person has done something wrong. Let's just remove everything they've done, especially when they're part of a company. Yeah, and also, with Minilad, uh, sure, he did maybe supply water to, like, kids who had suffered of dehydration in another continent. But if someone told me he tried to hit on those kids, I'd believe it. Yeah. And yet, uh, then a lot of other famous people who are completely innocent start having a spotlight, like, start having the spotlight sh shine on them because they were at one point associated with this person that is now found out to be a criminal. Mm. And 
I... Which is why probably everyone who knew Carson either was like, yeah, I wish him luck with what he's uh, ever he's gonna do, or just outright, yeah, I'm not gonna be any anything with Carson. Just yeah, like, I'm Slimes just gonna stay away from him. Yeah, I'm like, not gonna talk with him. Slimesicle's gone. Okay, Slimesicle's gone. The smart rat where he's gone. E even if he. Even if the smart route isn't, like, makes him sound like he, oh, he's doing this to avoid having spotlight shine on him, which I don't believe. Again, Slime Skull just doesn't seem like that kind of guy, but, you know, you can't really tell until, like, until you find out. But, um, I say it because, yeah, it's to admit that said, this person isn't good, uh, and I you don't like that, but... I, I am good compared to them, or I'm not bad like them, because I'm friends with them. Yeah. There's also the I case where, like, them, you know, they I just didn't like know them. that this person was a literal criminal. Hmm. And then they get associated, and because they just happen to be associated with someone who ended up being revealed to uh, commit crimes, uh, and heinous ones at that, uh... Then they must also be this, which is dumb. So I, I didn't like what Jesse's outlook on it was. What was his outlook he, on him? He was just generally like, yeah, I don't think it was that bad. I think you shouldn't be harassing him that much. Which true, don't harass him, but what he did wasn't good. I it was bad. It wasn't that bad. It was bad. He was literally sexing someone under the sex range. Yeah. That's the thing, dude. Half of the kids that, like, probably most of the kids actually don't know that unless they probably go into law. Only reason I know this stuff is because I'm Aboriginal and they taught all the Aboriginal kids this. Kinda racist. Kinda of racist, yeah. I do believe, that they got all the Aboriginal kids together for a special class where you learn about alcohol, smoking, uh, your safe sex. I think it's and because. Rape laws. I think it's because face facts. I mean, I'm not gonna try and be it's, discriminate it's or anything like here. Yeah, it is. What but... black people have done. Yes. And what the previous generation has been like. It's yeah. semi -racist. You shouldn't be held accountable for your parents' crimes. This is just a fact. Which is why I feel like this should be just like a main course thing, not just taking all the Aboriginal kids and teaching them this. Yeah. Like, my dad smokes weed, and I don't like it. You know, there's nothing I can do about that, and I'm not helping him have access to these drugs, and... I don't know, I mean, in the future, I might end up doing it once or twice, or maybe continuously, but as of this moment, I am not, and I should not be held accountable for the stuff he's done. If... Yeah. But there's... But I don't I have... I believe a... that the stuff that was taught as well gets taught to you real quick as well, because it started in Year 7, the Aboriginal class. Yeah. And you learn I mean, about, like, I... safe sex then, and, like, the... all the other kids. Yeah. You're not Aboriginal, you have to wait, like, half Until... a semester? I Maybe? Know. I don't even think they did that in Year 7, I think it's like in Year 8. I mean, I'm Probably, in Year 8 now. Actually, no, Year 9. Yeah, not until Year 9 do you actually learn about that stuff. Which, I mean, I get, the older you are, the higher the chance you're gonna have those sort of interactions. Yeah, but, but that doesn't... When you take the Aboriginal kids out at a younger age to teach them that stuff, it's... It's kinda racist, yeah. Yeah, it's and it, cause it's for it, a good reason, but at the same time, that reason is a bit racist. It's obviously because of the stereotypes, and stereotypes, whether you want to believe it or not, are based off facts. Because yes, yeah. black Cause people yes, have there committed were crimes. Who rape uh, alcoholics. I know. And they also Probably. happen to be of a darker skin tone, um, which is, you know. They be of a single ethnic place and like. And then everyone is. Just I don't know off. if I get, do it anymore, or they just stop at year nine. Or maybe I'm too white. That could be the thing. 
God, imagine because I remember they got icons. a person in and they were like, because they told a story about how they weren't like, what really black? They were Aboriginal, but they didn't look it. Yeah, like you. And have... then like pointed out me like, yeah, yeah, like this kid and the, this other one. Yo, you're, you're white, but you're Aboriginals. You have Aboriginal blood in you. Like I, to my knowledge, I'm like sixty percent Irish. But the stereotype of Irishmen is that they have red hair and they all and they're leprechauns, right? That's more so mm -hmm. a joke, the leprechaun part. But red hair is a decent stereotype with Irish people. Tall people, strong as well as a stereotype. Like, I'm yeah, I'm sixty percent Irish. Uh, and if you want to get technical, I'm zero percent Australian because, well, the white, the white Australians are just British people that develop further yeah. skills. Technically, the true Australians are the Aboriginals, right? If you want to get technical. Personally, I just call myself an Australian because legally I am, but you I don't want to get into that. into Australia. Yeah, if you have an Australian citizenship, then legally you are an Australian, therefore I will call you one. However, until you have a citizenship, or if you weren't, if you weren't born here and you don't have a citizenship yet, whether that's Let your fault or not. Let me actually tell you, like, uh, if you're Aboriginal, or have Aboriginal heritage, when you have a kid, you either mark them as Aboriginal or not. If you mark them as Aboriginal, yeah. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure there's like a specific marking on the school roll for Aboriginal. I think it's because they have that um, like special like boomerang club and all that, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't do boomerang club anymore. What is it? Is it just like making boomerangs and then talking about Aboriginal stuff? That's that whole class I was telling you about. Sexual education, laws. Oh, it was in boomerang club? Nope, okay. yeah. That's, that's what boomerang club was. Just heading out to find a better signal. I'll be back. All right. Maybe the internet can help me out here. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, so like, even now they, they mark it on the roll. Like, you know how if you have like a special disease, night mom, they'll have like a marking for you. Like if you're asthmatic, they'll have asthma mark. I mean, that makes sense because it's like something. Yeah. That's a clinical thing, I have right? a mark for being Aboriginal. There's like a special symbol that looks like the Aboriginal flag. That's just... I don't think having that mark is inherently racist. I think it's the connotation that I comes with it, it like... Extra yeah, shot like marking a kid... Yeah, if like you want to say kid, this kid is this Asian kid has and then... Aboriginal. If, if you want to say, oh, this kid has a... This kid is Asian, so I will tell. I will make sure that the school knows that. That's fine. But if then you want to make sure that they have glasses because their eyelids eyelids are potentially like thin, then that's that's racist. Hmm. In my opinion, it's not the marking of what they are on the roll that's racist. It's what comes. I with feel. It. Yeah, because like it, it's only Aboriginal as well. There's no like, if they were to just mark your ethnicity, that would be fine. But. To only mark it if you're Aboriginal, that shouldn't be right, man. Just singling out that is just because they have heritage of Aboriginals. Yeah. Um. I usually I don't so, like. You know, I, if I was to get a new teacher, they'd go, "Okay." They'll see the Aboriginal marking and they'll go, "Oh yeah, this kid's an abo." I mean, I don't know if I word it like that, but that's the. Probably one of the thoughts I'll go through the head will still be this kid is Aboriginal. Mm. I've had Abo Abo kids before. They they're pretty noisy. Yeah, I mean, it is something interesting that I will like in English because obviously the mandatory classes, right? English, mm. Hass, science, and math. In English and Hass, obviously I have a specific group, and then science and math, I have that a different group. But in English mm. and Hass. My, um, th there's a certain group of people that just happen to have a different skin color than me. They're not white, right? Yeah. And there's only, like, two white people in that class that would ever do the same kind of stuff. And the mm -hmm. thing is, if I then go, oh, you're misbehaving, or if a teacher then goes, you're misbehaving, so I'm going to punish you accordingly, they go, oh, that's racist. Just because they have a different skin color. And while, yes, it could be racially motivated... I don't think it ever is. It's not inherently uh -huh. racist. Well, I think I could, but... 
in depth. Oh, conversation we've just been here. arguing about racism. And oh, let me join. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm a professional in this. Okay, this is a joke. He's not actually racist, but we call him racist anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's but... like how I have the. We were just talking about the a Boomerang Club and how they teach Dabo kids this earlier than all the other kids. I am, um, because there are a few kids in my English and Hass class that they just happen to be a darker skin color, but I don't hate them because that, I hate them because they misbehave and they could just constantly annoy me. Like, they, they don't let the other kids. Is it Affleck Farage and fucking Jaden and that? Ah, uh, no. No, they don't have any the racist You know, oh, that's, that's what fucking they did a sign though. Oh, miss, that's racist. Yeah, no, like, uh, my, my house teacher, Mr. Lyons, uh, Jesse or Mike is sounding like Satan right now. Demon uh, Mike. Oh, I have a theory about that, by the way. A theory about racism. No. You have my microphone. Oh, is it the, your dad's dead one? No, listen, listen. Do you know that it sounds like water, right? Yeah. He buried it. He, we, he was cremated and we put him in a river. So it is, you, your dad's dead. Kobe, Kobe, uh, Kobe or you said he, it sounds like a guitar. He was burning his heart when he died. And Dylan said it sounded like screaming. I wasn't screaming before, but he, I got, he did it to me. The, the child what? abuse of screams. That is true. That, that is a true. So I don't that know about is you, a truth. Like, I don't know about you, but that's kind of... Sussy. I mean, I'll use that word, yeah. What do you think, Blake? Rants! We're yeah, having a yeah, ranty yeah, night! Rant. Yeah, rants! Sure! Yeah, rant. I'm watching you Yuri, Yuri anyway, while so. this whole thing <laughs> happens. <laughs> I'm gonna hear for the content, man. Uh, no. 18 minutes. So, with the... What, what was the subject again? What? Uh, oh, the whole... Yeah, never mind. Um, Child so, abuse, I remember. Spir spiritual crap like that because that's essentially what it delves down to your dad died yeah, yeah. and assuming that spirits exist and they can haunt you that's potentially what this is right he abused mm. you so that like he might hate because he i'd imagine yeah. he abused you because he hates you so it's yeah. either out of hatred which would be a stronger emotion than out of feeling guilt for what he did as a lie I can hey, understand the surprising coincidences that this comes with but at the same and time, time. And, 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 the, and on that recording we got wind chimes, the wind chimes have had a high Yeah, my, like, cause, I personally don't believe in spirits and all that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't understand much about it, like, but I know that people believe From in it, and they're fine. From a scientific standpoint, it's... From a scientific standpoint, it sounds fucking crazy, but the coincidence is here. Yeah, it is a strange. They are strange coincidences. I will go. I I will point that out. However, I think they're just that coincidences. I think that it just so happens to sound like wind chimes or guitars or screaming or water. For me, it sounds like it was nothing. Too in particular. uncanny, though. It was. It was the f only time. It was just Jesse scream with fear. I've never genuinely. You guys have never actually genuinely heard me scream with fear. Yeah, I was, like, that's like, why it surprised me. Scream with I, genuine fear for me. Just, I can't ah! do that. Oh. No, you can't do that because he's not afraid. Like, 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 like trying to emulate it. Oh, that's, that's physically impossible right now because, you know, it's not scaring me that bad. But, like, like, what's it called? Oh, you guys have never heard me. I, like, when I scream to you guys, it's more like a. Like funny haha -ha scream, you know, if I ha ha ha. No, this was like a legitimate. Ah! Yeah, no, I'm, I've, I've, you, you guys have never heard me actually scream. Yeah, but, um, anyway. I, look, I. I'm not saying that. I think my it's family's. Not bad. I just don't think it. Like, it could easily be that. It could genuinely be his spirit, blah blah blah. However, I don't, I don't believe it is. You don't personally think so. You're on the side of pure science. Yeah, call me an atheist. Well, I don't care, but I know what I believe. I don't, I don't believe in the god and that shit. But 
I like to think that we just go somewhere just so the sort of death doesn't just get me that much. Like, it's like... like mm. So, it's so I, I personally so believe my house is haunted. Yeah, same with me. But... And because the coincidences that happen, I yeah, think, are just too much of a coincidence. Like, yeah, every time I close my eyes and lay down... <laughs> Demon Michael, Demon Michael, Demon Michael. Demon Michael. Speak! Speak, demon! I hear my voice! This is cringe. Cringe. Ah! Good afternoon, 47. Cringe game? That is Guillaume it comes back real quick. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, right? Like, like... Yeah. Yeah, it... All I can think right now is here, like here, underwater. <laughs> I hear Minecraft voices. Mmm. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, I'll say it again. I am just personally of the belief that that kind of stuff is fake. I don't believe that there are ghosts. You're on the side of pure right. science, we understand. We understand. The but hit song by Jack Stawarma! <laughs> The coincidences do kind of spook me a bit, I will be honest. Yeah, like, the room that I used to sleep in, I remember there would be times at night where I would close my eyes and hear footsteps. Only when my eyes were closed. Alarms have gone off all over the mansion. Targets. Bro, is he back? Oh, let's fix my mic real quick. Okay, yeah. You must stop him. The first the time everyone was here, like on. after the funeral, like when I was playing music and it just stopped, and then you started work. playing music that he liked as well. That, that, that's pretty cool. Um, what's it called? Another one is one time I was like, this is when I saw my better mic. Right? Your mic is very quiet. Uh, I'm not speaking quite, and Mike just does that sometimes. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it normally happens after Demon Mike. So, what's it called? Like, I, I'm trying to go to sleep, I like, open my eyes, and I just sleep there, just like this. It's so, like, did I tell you, after my great pop died, we went and took a photo of the moon a couple nights after? Yeah. And there was like a flying thing in it. There were, but there aren't no fly, fire, fire bugs nearby. Mm. There are two things I can think of for that: photo grain, which I don't know if it actually works like that, or photo just it was one of those also shooting like star or something half like this. Nah, because it was above the ground, and it was you know how there's moving photos on the newer phones. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those, and you could see it just move around. So either. It was a rare case of a firebug, but I feel like we'd see it if it was a firebug. Yeah, what if it's just a drone? It was on you the ground nearby you us. Heard a drone. Not like in the sky. If it was a uh. drone, you definitely would have fucking heard that uh. drone's allowed. Well, I mean, there so there are some quiet, like really quiet drones. Yeah, but, but still, most drones like low ground mm -hmm. to the ground near us. We oh didn't realize till that... I think like we went to my now and pops and we're like, oh yeah, did you see like the flying thing in it? No. I never noticed. Oh. But I think that veers less away from the spiritual and more so towards the uh, extraterrestrial. Well, no. You know what friends scared the crap out of me as a kid? Just because oh. every day it'd be like, oh yeah, dude, we, we got adopted by aliens, but don't worry, bro, I, I, I saved us. Nice work, 47. I was a gullible kid, so I was oh, fucking what, scared out of my kid, mind every as, night. As a kid, as like a small, small kid, what was that one thing that, that scared you, but shouldn't have scared you? What was that one thing that scared you, but, that, but shouldn't have? You go first. <laughs> I'm trying right, to think. Oh, I have a really fucking dumb one. Well, yeah, I mean, you're dumb, oh, so I, I kind of think it's... I want to save my... Shut the fuck up, Black, I'm not dumb. 
I'm not actually done this for the funny, it's just gas this before, it don't know this. For the funny car has. Alright, continue. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll let you guys go first, because Maz is at the pinnacle. Pinnacle, fucking dumb. Uh, underneath my bed. Stepping out of my that, bed to just, go to the toilet. That's just every kid, like, I think someone's on high on your bed, and, like, put your, like, legs over. And that. then you jump, like, a feet away. You go, ha ha, f suck that, monsters. Yeah, suck on that. Suck on those nods. What that you like? I like. I, I don't think I. I mean, I might not. I might just not remember. Like, it, you can't but, think of them because it's all generic, right? No, I don't think I had anything in particular that was yeah, other than the stuff that that's generic. That was like dumb, which, you know. Yeah, I don't like, think I had anything like, amazing that was dumb. I well, I'm gonna put a lightning rod on top of your on top of your mud shack so lightning constantly fucking strikes it. Thank you. Put it next to the flower. Okay. Yeah. But you want to hear something that I was scared of as a kid? What? What? That, that, that didn't make sense. So you know that one Scooby Doo movie, right? Yeah. This is no joke, by the way. You know that one Scooby Doo movie where. They go to Transylvania and then show you get turned into a, uh, what's it called? Fucking werewolf, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mixed, see, as a kid, right? I never, I never saw it because I was too scared to watch it because of the fucking title of it. Holy shit, I just remembered something that scared the shit out of me as a kid, also, but shouldn't you know, have. I'll, you know what? I was mixing up Zombie Island and that one. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I ended up enjoying You know what, Ice Age 2, yeah. I had that, I have that on disc, I believe, Ice Age 2. Yo, I, I was watching the extra features, and there was like a teaser, where it was like, Scratch getting knocked out of ice, in real life. Like, they, they they're digging oh, I, out the ice. Did, did you that tell scared one? the shit yeah, out of me as a kid. Real. You thought it was real. Yeah. <laughs> like, my brain was just, <gasps> what the fuck, what the fuck? I watched that how I watched Scooby Doo, like two rooms away. <laughs> the way the TV was, scary. I could go into my mom and dad's area and still be able to watch it, and that's what I did. Or I'd I... just be at the kitchen table. Yeah. I never really watched anything particularly scary. Like, just because. Scooby Doo? No. You never, you never, watched Scooby -Doo. Anyway. never watched Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed? Dude, no. we need to get you a binge of the Scooby Doo movies. I'll bring mine. Right Jesse will bring his. Yeah, I'll bring yeah, yeah, bro. I'll I'll bring uh, do you want to bring the original? I'll bring the second one, the better one. I only have the second one. I don't have the oh. original. Oh, okay. I'll bring the original. But yeah, I'll just I bring guess... all my Scooby Doo's, man. We just we gotta watch them all, man. I guess the yeah. thing I was like scared of was. Honestly, the weirdest thing was probably seeing, like, n nudity in a movie. I hated it when cartoons had romance. That's probably why I never liked Mystery Incorporated. It just was... Could you take this shit out of my show? I want to like, see it, people like, kiss. I will, I will say, it was, <laughs> like, it was unneeded, but it still was a good show. Huh. Yeah, I think if I rewatched it, I'd enjoy it more. But it was just the Velma and Shaggy relationship that oh, and then, just and then ruined the got, show. And then, and then Scooby got really jealous because he thought Shaggy was gonna leave him. Yeah. I guess Elbow shagged Daffy as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a reason he's called. He's a, there's a reason that that, that he's not called. Because he has Shaggy balls. Oh, yeah, that's, that's something I never <laughs> wanted to hear. <laughs> I never want to hear that one again. Jesus, no, thank you. Well, you can't get rid of it now. Just like the potato, it's no, real. No, the potato is real. No, no, I'm gonna be thinking of that for the next two weeks. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, I hate you. The potato is real. I've been oh, yeah. bullshitting it's not, it, but it's, it's real. It's, no it's from potato. Taco Bell. The potato was something that Dylan just thought he just made up out of nowhere, but turns out it was uh, something that. Uh, Taco, Taco Bell, Bell sells potacos! And, and then he's really happy about it now. You're I'm gonna buy a potaco when they come here. Dylan, Dylan was really, like, 
fucking excited when he found out that that fucking <sighs> actually fucking it wasn't speaking from random Mexican jungle. <laughs> like I say, like I say, Espanol C. Exactly, I can say for taco because it's now a real thing made by the Americans. I'm upset that it exists just so because now I'm gonna be saying a lot fucking more. Hey, <laughs> potato, the potato juices. Did you did you go did you start speaking tongues there for a second? <laughs> potato juices. Mm, I Yo, said. Yo, you guys want to play some Battlefield soon? Sorry, I couldn't make him out. So yeah. Blake, what about you? Uh, um, after this episode. Maybe. I doubt it. Uh, well, I got past the traumatic John, bit I of your ear. I found another fucking village. Uh, so far, that's two normal villages and one abandoned one. There's another village huh. next to it! <laughs> what the fuck? Dylan, this seed is great for villages. Like, if I see a white dude, I'm not gonna go... Don't you know, bro, say, that. say that. Do you know the history behind because, it? Because... Like, because it's, it's personally, I believe really if we just don't care about racial slurs, they eventually don't and become racial slurs. And also, he could be saying king in like whatever language king, is, like the N word is king. I forgot what language that was. What language is it? I. Ah oh, yes, my nigger. When it comes, so oh, racial slurs. Yeah, like, like, I, I like, yeah, you shouldn't go around saying that all the time, like. He was a fucking never, was killed none, bro. I don't think, like, like, uh, like, I don't think you should go around saying, like, in an aggressive way. I think it, like, dep I, think, I think, depending on how you, like, what, what you mean behind, like, if you're saying, like, right, like, if you no say one, it in a joke, like, I'm fine with that, but when you yeah, really like, mean it, like, wait, like, oh, I, like, oh, bro, like, I, like, like, you genuinely say, oh, I fucking, I, 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 I fucking hate, fucking, uh, I hate, Fucking black people, I hate, I hate I, the Ching Chong kind, you I, know. Oh, I hate the fucking when it's used like, in bro. racist, when you when it's used in <laughs> racist ways, that's when I draw the line. If yeah. you're just gonna say the N word or any other racial slur, and like, it's a you're saying it in a friendly way, and everyone knows that you're being friendly with it, then I, I don't see it as a big fine. problem. Yeah. Now what about the ER N word? Like, because that's used in the a more art. offensive way. The hard should art we is not... the hard art is not friendly. The hard art is always so. Should the uh, hard art not be said? Yes. Don't ever say the hard art. Not uh, not only just when even I'm a black man. No. A, not a black man and can I, say and it. And I think it's strange how like they say oh you shouldn't say it, but then they call each other knowing the history behind it. Mm, it's it's just like saying hello, my fellow black slave. It's. Yeah, I mean, that's it's acknowledging that it is. happened. Yeah, but then why? But why are they calling each other then that as well? I don't know. I think instead of being angry when other people say it, they should. I don't know. I just feel like if anything, I it's. I think it's we should not react to it. I think the better option is because what if we just like okay, we all go. Yes, we used to own you guys like. And that's not good now. Like, we used to own your race and all that. Obviously, we shouldn't have. And I'm not going to say we should atone for our crimes because, well, n the entirety of white people didn't own slaves. It's just no, that, no, like, that like particular like series of like generations. Rich and, only like the fucking rich fucking snobs did. It's like the case yeah. of and should a black who man probably really dead now, anyway. Be allowed to like say the N word? Should they really be allowed to because they are if, that word? If we're word. going for true quality, no. But then again, by that oh, extension, then, then like everyone should be able to say it. I've accidentally drawn a dick on my fucking Minecraft map. <laughs> yeah, big dick. I didn't accidentally draw a penis. <laughs> I was just re going in a random direction. Oh, like, oh, the, oh, I'm going in a straight line. Oh, there's a village off to the left and right. And I'm looking at my map now. Do I realize that it's a fucking dick? <laughs> Uh, but no, because with slurs, obviously, if you're using them as a slur, don't say it. But if you're using it in a friendly term, which is why I just always have the distinction between the hard R and just with an A. Like, the hard yeah. R, in case those who don't know, the hard R is just the N-word, but instead of saying it like, like oh, R, G-A, it's G-E-R. If you pronounce it, like, I'm not going to say it, but if you 
pretend that the beast is Jesus. It's God. It's God. That's that's a whole me. Good. Not right. Good. Not right. On YouTube, that I'm probably gonna be family friendly. I'll make it easy. One is, hey, how you doing? The other is, I fucking hate you. I wish you weren't born. Yeah, girl. I like I said, it's the only time I'd be family friendly, but you cursed. You literally swore. Yeah, it, it's the most family friendly I'm ever gonna get, alright? Yeah, okay, he didn't say the N words. So that's good that enough, is I true. guess. I haven't said that but in a video on ages. Essentially, yeah. what we're saying is when it ends with girl, that's when it's used as an insult. When it's ended with ga, it usually just means like friend or homie. Which. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's how I see it. Obviously, I'm still not gonna yeah. say it anyway because I'd rather not be yelled at by anyone, be it a white blonde thing girl is, or a black when, person. Like, when, my brother when, uses when, the N word, but not a lot. It's to the point where, like, he'll say it when it's for a joke, like, oh yeah, this N word like, when he was talking like, about yeah. a black dog, he was meaning that in a, a joking way, not a racist way. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, and. And I think, and I think we should be like, like if like you like if your black friends call you like like you're there, uh, Nibba, and like like yeah, bro, I'm um, your Nibba, like it, like you know, like, if, if but don't like, just go out and say, oh yeah, hey my nigga. Yeah, but like yeah, I'm just saying, but like what's it called? Uh, I'm not saying you should just go out to any anyone and just say, oh yeah, you're like you're that, but like. Like if you're close, it's... if you're close, like if you're close friends and they like and they allow it, you know, like yeah, blah, 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 stuff like that. Never go the gr. Good morning. Yeah. Even if your friends are okay with that, never go the gr. Even yeah. if your friend group just, is all about the, the gr. Well, well, yeah, I'm... man, I haven't talked about like sucking anything in ages. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna. Good morning. I'm gonna head out now. I'm I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah. Uh, no oh, battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, no battlefield. Not today, no. Oh, uh, what about what about on Friday? This maybe. Well, see ya. And I will bring it to school. All right. All right uh, cool. off. Enough of that. So, um. There's never enough dog, nigga. I'm trying to record a video.